Five years after a Gwinnett County girl's death, her legacy lives on. Anna Charles Hollis, who went by her nickname, AC, was just six when she was diagnosed with AML. That's a blood cancer. Today, AC is the inspiration behind the $20 million Peach Bowl Legacy Fund. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has her story. And what a story it is, Alex. You know, as you said, AC was just six years old, but her parents say she was just larger than life. They say she would have loved being in the spotlight, knowing that this legacy fund is named after her. And it's hyper-focused on funding research to help kids diagnosed with cancer have better treatment options, like 10-year-old Nick Colley. Visiting the Aflac Cancer and Blood Disorder Center at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta at Scottish Rite to have his IV medication in his backpack switched out by a nurse. It's easy to see why Nick Colley's neighbors have nicknamed him the mayor of their cul-de-sac. Nick is a big personality. I think God gave him that personality so we were able to know when that wasn't there that something was off. Because this summer Nick wasn't being Nick. I wasn't eating my favorite foods like I wasn't eating. He wasn't as energetic as he normally is. I mean, I like staying up late and watching movies and I would go to bed at like six o'clock. One night in mid-July, Nick spiked a fever they couldn't bring down with medication. And he woke up in the middle of the night with excruciating leg pain and he was unable to walk. July 18th, in the emergency department of Children's Healthcare at Scottish Rite, Nick was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL. It was a whirlwind. When you have leukemia, you don't leave the hospital when you're diagnosed. Two days later, using a cord in his chest, Nick began chemotherapy. But when he had a severe allergic reaction to the medication, his doctors had a backup. They switched Nick to a targeted immunotherapy drug, blinatumumab, which is what's in his backpack. It's FDA approved for adults, but still being studied in kids. And unlike the chemo, Nick says, with this drug, he has almost no side effects. I just feel like normal, like I did before I got diagnosed with leukemia. Because Nick can carry his medication in his backpack, he's now back in school. And the hair he lost to earlier chemo is growing back in. It's better than all the other medicines that I've had less side effects, actually no side effects, so it's been pretty good. We were ready to do whatever they said. 30 miles away in Buford, Georgia, Benji and Leanna Hollis know the world of childhood cancer well. In 2018, their oldest daughter, six-year-old Anna Charles, nicknamed AC, was diagnosed out of the blue with acute myeloid leukemia, or AML. When we loaded her up and went down to Scottish Rite and heard those words, mom, dad, you know, your child has cancer, so the world stopped. When AC was diagnosed, they didn't have a clinical trial she could qualify for, so she pushed through surgery, chemotherapy, paralysis, and got a brief remission before the cancer returned. AC Hollis died just five months after she was diagnosed with leukemia. But we wanted to celebrate her life because she was full of life, and we wanted to remember her. In the months after the Hollises lost their daughter, Benji's boss, Gary Stokem, CEO of the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl convinced the Bowl's board to donate $20 million to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta to create the Peach Bowl Legacy Fund in AC Hollis's memory. All of the money is earmarked for research into new treatments for childhood cancers. We want to get something to the end zone. We want to get something FDA approved. Right now, 12 pediatric cancer trials involving 37 children are being funded by the Peach Bowl Legacy Fund, most of them at Children's Healthcare. You know, the hope is basically to give a kid another day, another month, another year, another life maybe, if we can find some trials and cures that work. And Benji and Leanna Hollis hope that the research studies will give other families options. I know it's a blessing to them. And so to know that AC's life impacted that, um, we know she's not coming back, but we know that her life is still having a major impact. She was a blessing. God sent her to this world to make some changes and mission accomplished. And earlier this year, the Legacy Fund helped launch the first clinical trial for a new treatment for AML. That's the same type of leukemia that AC had, and the study is being led by the doctor who treated her, Melinda Polly. And so far, you know, things are really coming around full circle, and they're beginning to see this money that was set aside four years ago changing lives and taking off, you know, in, in, in the form of research and options for families. I like how her father said it. 
that she was here for a reason, and now we are seeing that come to fruition. Yeah. Beth, yeah. thank you. Stay with us because we will be right back with more news after this.